Confirmed. Confirmed. We finally got the Samsung S24 lineup's final updates and look. It's different from what you are thinking. There are some changes that will give this model a unique look and identity. Let's directly talk about the new design. New official Samsung photos that show the Galaxy S24 Ultra with a redesigned, flattened screen were obtained by Windows Report. It validates a previous leak made by user David Martin on Twitter and X, who shared handheld photos of the rumored new S24 Ultra. The pictures unmistakably displayed a new gray color finish and sharper screen edges similar to the adjustments made with the regular S23 earlier this year in place of the rounded curve. This may look the same as of S23 Ultra in pictures, but in real, it will give a different feel. S24 Ultra will have a piece of good news for those people who don't like curved displays. Many people skipped purchasing S23 Ultra, and one of the reasons was the curved display. By the way, I really don't understand the logic behind this, but if it was me, I would definitely buy the phone with that curve. But what do you guys think about why flatter displays are better than curved ones? Moreover, if we talk about other features, Samsung is launching a new feature for the S24 series and that new generative AI software. According to leaks, the S24 devices will employ this technology to translate messaging apps into more than a dozen languages in real time. A new A-powered Zoom AnyPlace camera framing feature, driven by a Qualcomm i engine, was also showcased by Samsung in October. This feature is anticipated to be available on a future device. According to Android Authority, significant details about the S24 line's processor and modem specifications were recently released by the FCC. The information indicates that the S24, S24+, Plus, and S24 Ultra all have Qualcomm modems with smart transit capabilities, even though the commission did not specifically name the chip. According to the combination, all S24 models, at least those available in the US, will come with the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chips, which support artificial intelligence. International versions of the standard S24 might still, as in past years, come with Samsung's proprietary Exynos processors and modems. The S24 Ultra gets a titanium frame, an improved 50MP5X telephoto camera, better vapor chamber cooling, Wi-Fi 7, and a flatter screen in addition to a faster processor. The S24 Ultra will continue to sport a 6.8-inch Quad HE screen, 120Hz refresh rate, comparable storage options, 12GB of RAM, and a 5000 mAh battery. In the meantime, the standard Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus model designs resemble those of the S23, but this time the cameras will have smaller bumps as compared to those of the S23 base and Plus models as seen in the pictures. This time, the Plus model will get a greater RAM of 12GB, a larger 4900 mAh battery, and a 6.7-inch Quad HD screen. New color finishes in marble gray, amber yellow, cobalt violet, and unex black will also be available. It is also said that the S24 Ultra will get 16 gigabytes of RAM, which directly means more applications running capability in the background, faster and smoother switching between applications, and better response from the running applications. Now here is one thing people talk about that the same camera designs over smartphones make it boring, just like the iPhone. From iPhone 11 to 15, we are seeing the same design with minor changes, and now is the same case with the Samsung S series having the same camera design from the S22 to the upcoming S24. But in reality, it is of great importance. If a smartphone series gets a new camera or overall design every year, then the previous models of that series will lose their value. Maybe not much in price tag, but yes in people's choice. People will try to buy the latest product and ignore the previous models, calling it old design phone. But if a new model gets the same design, or one with little changes, it will not cause any impact on the previous model's value, and people will not crave to sell their previous model to get the new one. Unless people consider the specs and want to remain updated.
This year, the S24 series is getting the overall same design as a previous model, but we might see a completely new design for the S25 series, if there is any. But there are chances that we will get a chance to see Samsung S25 as Samsung has already registered the trademark for S25. Registering a trademark means they will launch a phone with this name and they have complete rights for it. But for now, if the overall design is the same, but we will surely get to see new features in the S24 series, especially the S24 Ultra. This will be in chipset, RAM, camera, AI features, display, performance, and much more. What do you guys think the S24 will be capable enough to beat the iPhone 15? Also, what do you think about the new features we will be getting? Or do share your wish list of features that should be embedded in future smartphones.